here at LAX, beautiful Los Angeles airport. I'm here to tell you guys that I've got some really wonderful news to share. And I'll share it towards the end of this video. Right now I'm trying to find Mr. Kaufman. I've actually been here at the airport editing for the past several hours. I'm gonna be here for most of the day. I got here about noon, gonna be flying out about 9.30. Just need to find Mr. Kaufman, wherever he might be. And as soon as we find him, I'm gonna have him give us a little rundown of what we can expect to see in Australia and, and kind of lay out the itinerary for us. You guys can kind of get a good idea of what's coming forward on these videos. I, I, I don't know what to expect other than it's going to be a really good time. That's the one thing I am expecting is to have a very, very good time. I think Dave gets in like an hour or so and finally meet up and go grab some dinner. And what else has happened? There was something else really important I wanted to tell you guys. For some reason, I'm having this huge brain fart right now. I can't think of what it was I was going to tell you. It was that I wasn't planning to make this video. I was just planning to get to Australia, but since I'm spending so much time on the road, it's Wednesday for me now. And I don't think we're actually arriving in Australia until sometime on Friday. So this whole travel time, I figure I might as well make a video because I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to upload any videos while I'm in Australia or many videos while I'm in Australia. I might have to just film the whole trip then upload after the fact because we're going to be spending a lot of time up in the, uh, the cuts, I imagine, going out into the outback and not having any kind of internet access whatsoever. So I wanted to make sure you guys uh, were aware of that before I disappeared off the map for a while. And plus, I don't think I want to spend any waking moments when we could be hunting for reptiles sitting and editing instead. I want to experience as much of Australia as possible and not be wasting time sitting in front of the computer editing videos. And you guys will get to see everything after the fact anyway. So, um, yeah, let's go find Dave. Yes, sir. Where? No problem. Where are you, Dave? L.A. Mmm. Baked. Well, my Jewish friends, although their hats were very cool, were no help in finding Dave. I think I've narrowed it down though that he's gonna be showing up at this baggage claim based on the fact that he's coming out of Minneapolis. Uh, hoping that my detective work works. And we're just gonna wait here and hope that we can find Dave. I'm pretty sure these are his people. They look like Minnesotans. That guy's definitely gotta be related to Dave. More Jewish folks. Dave should be here any second. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's over there. I'm not. I'm not spotted. There he goes. There he goes. There he is. He's looking for me, but he doesn't see me. <laughs> oh, he's walking out the door. Gotta catch him quick. Where did he go? I totally lost him. How did he do that? I don't know how he did that. As quickly as he found him, we lost him again. I see him. Oh. I think he spotted me. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> when they said, hey Dave, is there another YouTuber that you can think to bring, you know, over to Australia? I called everybody I knew and everybody was booked. So then I suggested Brian. Yep. Sloppy, <laughs> sloppy 30 seconds. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I'm, I'm super stoked oh, that you... Oh, of course, man. Th this is going to be a trip of a lifetime, Absolutely. man. I, the opportunity is, uh, I can't thank Absolutely. you enough for naming me no, out there. we are going to have a blast. Oh. And you know what? Honestly, this is going to be a blast. You and I are really good friends, and it's not like, you know, like we don't know each other that well, and that we're, we've both been invited over there, and then we got to get to know each other on the trip and whatever. We go way back. I mean, at least six months. And, you know, for us to have that kind of rapport already, this is going to be an awesome trip. Works for me. Yeah. Well, I'd like you to tell everybody kind of what the plans are for the trip. Basic kind of itinerary rundown, yeah. what we're hoping to see. So we are going to go to... So right now... Where, where are we? L LA? We're in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. So right now, we are in Los Angeles at LAX. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, okay, we're done. <laughs> the one thing I'll tell you guys that is on my list of things that I really, really am hoping to see, it's, it's at the top of the list, is a thorny devil. Yes. Because it's, I've looked at pictures of those since I was a little kid, these little Time Life books. Some of you guys may remember those Time Life books. You remember those Time Life books? I absolutely, I do. Dude, and I remember looking at pictures of this thorny devil. I think it was actually on the cover of one of the books. If not, one, of, right, one of the full pages inside yeah. things, it was like, what is that? It looks like a lizard head 
a baby with a thorn bush or something and it's like that's it's exactly it, what happened it's just that's the number one if i could see one of those in the wild that I, everything else we're going to see is going to be completely awesome but if i could see one of those that's going to be like my crowning moment of, right. of happiness no, that would be we have a really good chance to find one too. Yeah, I mean, we really do. That's what I heard. All right, so in three and a half seconds, this is what we're going to do. We're at LAX. We're going to fly here from Brisbane. We are going to meet Ewan and Troy, our friends from Australia. They are going to be on the same flight to Darwin. We are going to rent a camper in Darwin. We are going to drive down to Alice Springs. We are going to sleep in the desert. We are going to sleep wherever we can find. We're going to eat whatever we can find, where we can find it. It is going to be absolutely epic and then back to Darwin, then we fly to Sydney, then we do the Penrith Reptile Expo and do a little talk, question and answer thing to the Hawkesbury Herpetological Society. And then we get in the car and we drive up the coast to Brisbane where we fly out of Brisbane a week later, uh, directly to Chicago, just in time for Tinley. I'm, I didn't know that, so I'm glad that you said it because now I know. <laughs> You didn't know what we were doing? Well, I was waiting for you to tell me. That's why I was looking for you so desperately mm. earlier, so I could know, because Hillary wanted to know, too. So. Oh, well, there it is. There, there it is. is. All right. Right. So that's what we're doing in Australia. Ooh, speaking of Hillary. There we go. Okay, I just recorded and realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> so we found the snake, got her or him into his enclosure. Thankfully, Marfell was here, too. She's a champion. All I heard was, I found him! <laughs> <laughs> And I came over and my heart was like, oh, da, 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 da. That's why I didn't want to handle it, because I'm like, my energy's way too high for this horse snake right now. <laughs> no. But, you know, I, I took my time and the hook really helped to pull it out, but it was so cold, poor little thing. Yeah. But yeah, we got it into the cage together. Yes. yes. Uh, what do you think, Leah? Did you help us find it? Yeah. Did you help to find the snake? Yeah, of course yeah. you did. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, it was too cold. We had to put it back so it would get nice and warm. My energy was a little nervous and a little too high. I didn't want to scare it. Um, it was pretty cold, but still super friendly. And we, uh, I found him because I was cleaning out my car in this kind of random like center hatch that we don't even really use. And I lifted this up and found him underneath there. So, now I can drive without worrying about a snake coming out in the car while I'm driving for two and a half hours today. Oh, what an adventure. Uh, uh. That exciting news, the good news I told you guys at the beginning of the video. So obviously she somehow absorbed the Cusco gene for me to where she doesn't know how to properly press record before filming the thing that you really want to record and then having that all happen without the camera rolling and then talking about the fact that you forgot to press record after. It's definitely a Cusco thing. I don't know how she adopted that. She's not blood, she's just married in, but as it happened, but it is good news. I'm super stoked. I, that was not a good way for me to start the trip and be like, oh, Indigo Snake's When gone. you called me, what, yesterday? The day before, yesterday, whatever, yeah. yesterday? And told me about it, man. You're like, you shouldn't tell people about that. Uh, yeah, I, was like, I think I said that. I think I was like, tell me and no one else. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's big, big happy times now. And I feel like I get on this plane with a little bit of a fuller confidence that I'm not going to completely f everything up. <laughs> so good times, guys. We'll see you guys on the road. I don't know when we're going to be able to post. Dave doesn't know when he's We're going to be in the, in the backwoods out in the outback. We won't have cell reception. We might not have internet. I mean... We're going remote, like right into the outback, right into the red center of Australia, and um, it's gonna rule. I mean, it's just right. gonna rule. It's gonna rule. So, all right, man, let's get on a plane and uh, rattle on. <laughs> I'm actually getting on a plane tomorrow to go to Australia. I think she might have mentioned that, but in all the preparation, my brain has been spinning in circles. So, I, I, whether or not she said it, I am going to Australia tomorrow, so I, I thought it was kind of fun to try an Australia step in the way. This is an indigo snake. These guys are native to Florida, Georgia area here in North America. 